My research is all about seeing things that we've never seen before in the sky. So I study astronomy and I um, build telescopes to image parts of galaxies that have never been seen before. My work focuses on tumor evolution and heterogeneity. I'm interested in studying things which are rare in biology. So the project I am proposing um, is a study of mosaicism in pre-implantation human embryo development. I'm planning to use machine learning methods to um, help design biological experiments and also biological systems, um, trying to actually learn how to learn about biology in the same way as they are applied to, for example, video games or other types of games. The leaders we want are grounded in facts grounded in data science, and they're, more importantly, drawn from diverse sets of people and communities. So that's who these fellows are, that's why we're so proud of them, that's why we're excited for them to be the first major program for Schmidt Futures, and also the inaugural class of the Schmidt Science Fellows. I think we're most excited about taking individuals and bringing them together as a cohort. And this finalist group come from 20 different universities, 14 different countries, bringing them together just naturally things happen. The best advice I've ever received was probably from my dad saying, uh, don't tell me, show me. Uh, so a lot of times it's important to just work on the problems and uh, let it manifest through your works. Imagine what it was like to be Percy Spencer in 1946. He was an engineer at Raytheon. He was working on building a radar magnetron. What he did instead was that he melted the peanut cluster bar in his pocket. So he tried it again. He used an egg, and you know what he got? Egg in his face. The third time he took corn kernels and he got popcorn, and just like that, the microwave was born. The most um, important thing that I can get from the fellowship is the community. Being a Smith Science Fellow would, would really allow me to, to tap into that network and to, to find people to, to join in this project and, and solve all of these incredibly difficult problems that, that we're gonna run into in the near future. The best piece of advice that I've gotten is not to specialize in anything, to be a jack of all trades, to wear many different hats. Um, and I think that I've really benefited from branching out, trying many different sciences, and kind of stitching together disparate elements in order to create entirely new projects. The importance of this is that there is hybrid vigor, that new groupings, new crossings of fields, have the opportunity to create new discoveries much faster, much more deeply, much more interesting. Even when I was in India growing up, I would play cricket, and I started thinking about the physics of cricket. The reason that I want to switch fields is partially because of a friend that I lost due to a rare cancer uh, three years ago, and uh, I really want to honor her memory by creating new tools in personalized medicine and in uh, translational research. I want to see extraordinary outcomes from this program driven really by intergenerational, interdisciplinary collaboration. I want to uh, be an ambassador for better collaboration between science and policy making. I want to map the molecular architecture of the brain. I want to inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. I want to be a scientist that brings better things to humanity. I want to end human-induced extinction. I want to win the Schmidt Fellowship.